Uh, hi and welcome and thank you for joining me at such a short notice, Rahul. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to reconnect. Thank you for you. having me, Bhanti. Uh, the beauty is that uh, it doesn't seem like that we've not spoken in such a long while. And uh, it's genuinely a pleasure to seek a mind like yours. Um, uh, for the audience, Rahul has been uh, known to me for, I think, now 15 years, if I'm not mistaken, at least 12 to 13 years for sure. Uh, isn't it? Because my company is now around 10, 12 years old. I think it's been way longer. I think we met longer. somewhere in 2000. Oh, so that's 21 oh. years that I know you. Oh, oh. so uh, we've been coming. 21 on. years, 21 years, because uh -huh. uh, we met in 2000. Oh my God. So we, we haven't been in touch. That's the difference. Connecting with each other every uh, few years. And uh, Rahul is into films. He he writes, he directs, uh, he does post-production and works with event companies, works with content uh, for video content for uh, some of his clients. Uh, he's a very good writer and is pitching for a lot of things. Um, uh, he's actually a all-in-one guy for a long time. He's worked with various uh, big companies, but that's not the reason why we have him here. I think, uh, uh, his energy, in fact, that's the first question that is running in my head for a long time now, since the morning when you said uh, that you're open to doing this conversation today. My conversation with you wants to begin at the point where we first met. And one of the things that uh, struck me about you was that a lot of people are very, uh, at the age when you met me, which was your late teens or maybe early 20s or something, and uh, people are very uh, unsure about their uh, vulnerability or uh, or their capability or uh, either too cocky or they let go of their uh, defenses and crumble completely. All kinds of things happen in that uh, day and age, at least during that time. At this point, I am unsure of how uh, that age group uh, reacts to a lot of things. But when you came across, you you were fairly confident about things that you didn't know. Uh, and you didn't uh, demean yourself for not knowing it. You just sat down and you were quite matter-of-factly that, okay, these are things that I do not know. These are things that I know. These are things that I can do. Uh, you, you had a certain respect for elders without co-towing to whatever they believed or they did. Uh, in our company as well and you work with us. So my question to you, what is that mind space that you came from? What gave you the confidence that it was okay not to be okay in certain areas of your life? Especially when people are fairly confident of um, who they want to be and the world is out to get them and they can give it back. They have better ideas. So how come you didn't have those kind of uh, angst-ridden issues that most of us had perhaps when we were in our early 20s. <clears throat> it's probably because I didn't know what I was doing at that point and I was absolutely open to learning anything that came my way. And uh, I enjoy learning. I simply enjoy learning. So there was no um, preconceived notion of, okay, I'm going to be this in life or I'm going to do that in life. I was just open to learning everything that came my way. And uh, I guess the fact is that uh, if you say you don't know, people are more open to already knowing something. And uh, thanks to you, like you hand held me through a lot of things and it was a great learning experience for me at that point. Okay. And I still hold that whether yeah. those learnings very valuable. But uh, what about the what fear about? of maybe you would not be able to match up with what was required? You never had those kind of fears? Oh, uh, I guess I was a little too young to be really worried about that because I was still in college at that, at that point. And it was during my, uh, uh, like, the you could call it my holiday, that uh, I just came as an intern. So for me, it was absolute exploration. I did not know whether I wanted to be a writer, or, uh, an art director, a film director. I had no clue. I had no clue. I knew I wanted to be in advertising and in the media, but besides that, I had no clue. 
so i just played it as it came and i think uh, maybe on some level uh, uh you know just ignorance is bliss i guess <laughs> on that yeah. level you know yeah so, so i came from that space has that uh, continued did that continue later in your learnings because if i remember correctly um what could be called uh, subtle career shifts kept happening uh, every few years initially for you so right. uh, uh, how did you handle that uh, sense of disorientation which comes with changing careers or trying different things or did this same aspect continue in your head or uh, how did you tackle the responsibility bit of it okay now you are aging you need to be more responsible you need to take decisions what about those things oh well um the career shifts that i uh, the subtle career shifts that happened were essentially within the same field so it was not like i was unaware of the other aspects but again i was very open like when i learned how to write it was much later in my life that i learned how to write because uh, uh, you may have a good command over the language and you may be grammatically correct but at the end there is a certain science that i believe goes into writing yeah and till you do not understand and uh, learn that science you cannot call yourself a writer yeah right so i again was very open to that saying that uh, when actually a friend of mine approached me saying uh, do you think you want to write because you know you have interesting ideas and you have the you have a command <clears throat> over the language i was like i've never written before so he was like uh, why don't you try i said you'll have to uh, you know teach me because i don't understand writing the way you understand and he hand helped me again like the way you did much later in my life i've always found mentors and teachers through my life uh and i guess just being honest about what you really know and what you don't know is i don't know why people find it so difficult to say i don't know <laughs> nobody can know everything you know and it's just as simple as saying i don't know so tell me okay and i think a lot of information a lot of uh, teaching a lot of advice and a lot of experience that comes across uh, that has been given to me by people who have been senior to me and mentors to me uh, has been invaluable in my life because i guess the fact that i said i didn't know actually opened them up more than me yeah to teaching me you know uh, the subject or teaching me the art okay so uh, to answer your question was the problem with saying i don't know Uh, a lot of time you are in professional circles where you are presumed to know the answers because you are supposed to be delivering so i'll just uh, bring up an aspect that i learned on my very first advertising job um, i had no besides the love of language i had nothing uh, i got a job because nobody else had applied then and somehow i survived those first 15 days without getting sacked and i learned the tricks of the trade within those 15 days i showed a, a very strong inclination for reading and writing both and that kind of uh, convinced my boss that i was worthy but when i went to meetings with him initially one or two meetings he came along he was a consultant and wasn't available all the time so after that very often uh, the other guys in the agency didn't know that i didn't know and they took me along thinking that i was representing the consultant and i was as good as him i wasn't so when i went there very often i used to be very scared of uh, not knowing or not knowing what to ask the client and how to deliver on the brief uh, the initial few days were quite petrifying if i were to say so so now my question to you is in a in a space like that i managed by um, i think staying quiet most of the time instead of admitting that i didn't know i realize if you are a good listener people keep on pro offering information and it covers half your goof ups that you were otherwise going to do and the rest half i would come and ask him after the meeting ke okay this is what i did this is what i have done so if there was a mistake he used to reprimand me and saying that this is a basic thing you should know then i used to ensure that i didn't repeat that mistake but that that was a uh, course correction after it had happened while in the meeting right. i was like i want to quit this job because i can't handle the stress and the stress of just not knowing so i do not agree with you that it is as easy as you are making it out to be 
So uh, let me just try and probe, probe it a little bit for you. So if you are sitting in a space like this and you are willing to learn and also be seen as a, a guy who doesn't know a basic understanding of the subject, how do you tackle that fear? Are you saying that fear does not exist or is the... No, fear, fear is very, very real. I think every individual on some level has intense amounts of fears and it could be for various reasons and fears of various different things. But I guess that uh, the only way to actually go for it is you actually just go for it and wing it when it happens. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, they volunteer information. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I guess uh, that's where, you know, you kind of pick up and you understand what they're really getting at. So being a good listener is definitely part of it. Right? Yeah. Secondly, something someone told me very, I guess, never overcome it. Yeah. So you say yes. Yes is the best way to go because you get that information, the nod, the yes, because people volunteer information. And in that process, you get an understanding of what they really want. And mm -hmm. I don't think anything is beyond common sense. Okay. Right. So if you're able to uh, assimilate information and you have a reasonably uh, analytical mind, I think you're able to put things together and say, okay, this is what they actually want, you know, and you're able to then, you know, take that forward. Okay. Uh, this brings me to a very interesting uh, question that I didn't have before this. Uh, 